Hi there and welcome back to another video. In case you're new to this channel, I am Scarlett and I started a permaculture project in Mallorca and I recently moved here permanently. While I was still packing all my stuff back in Switzerland, a friend of mine brought in this little guy, Adam and his companion Eve, the first chickens that moved into our little paradise. Beautiful. Since the chickens arrived here a bit earlier than planned, my neighbor quickly fixed up the old chicken coop. It is beautifully made with dry stone walls, but very unpractical to work with. So our first chickens have been out in this little hut for the past weeks and today is the day where they're allowed to go out for the first time. So I'm very curious where they're gonna go and if I'm gonna be able to get them back in the coop at night. Well, that was a bad idea. I didn't take into account that these are not your average farm chickens. The advice that I got that chickens automatically go back to their coop after being regularly fed at the same spot for a couple of weeks obviously didn't work for these wild beasts. They spent the next few days in our forest and were impossible to catch. These Andalusian chickens can fly very well and they have been living outside for their whole life. So we built chicken traps to get them back in. <laughs> I used this time to clean out their coop and fill it with new bedding. And after a couple of days we cut them both. I was happy to be able to collect fresh eggs again, but this coop is definitely not a long-term solution. Crawling in and out is very laborious, even for a person my size. So, I bought a new chicken coop. I ordered a chicken coop instead of building my own because it's the first time I have chickens and I don't really know what I wanted to do better than the existing ones yet so I thought it would be easier and quicker but I have been ordering this chicken coop almost a month ago so it definitely wasn't quicker than building my own but I had so many other projects on my mind that were more urgent to finish so let's see how long it will take me to put this thing together Okay, I'm almost done, not quite. I'm struggling a bit with the hinges. Also, this would have been a lot easier if Pino had hands. I'll try to finish up before it's getting dark and we'll have a look at it tomorrow. But as always, things didn't quite go as planned. Um, things got a little out of hand. 
the original plan was to put my one chicken and the rooster into this coop today but then my neighbor called and told me that he has teenage ducks that need rehoming urgently and if I don't take them they would get killed so of course I couldn't say no and I have three little guys in this box right here but when I got to check on my chicken this morning I saw that she was broody so I don't really want to move her out of the old pen just yet so we're gonna switch up and put the ducks in the chicken pen and switch as soon as the new chicks have hatched. All this information is very new to me. As you might know, I have never had chicken or ducks before, so I'm very unexperienced and I'm doing the best I can. But if you have any tips or advice on anything about these two animals, please help me out. But I am very excited to show you what I've got. I didn't even finish the chicken coop build. I forgot to put on the door handles. Very important, would have helped to have them on when I put the ducks in, but I can still add them now. I just fixed it with a little stick. So one's at the top and the other two are at the bottom and Bino is being a really good boy. I have seen people actually train border collies to herd ducks so maybe that's gonna be our new hobby he's actually being very calm which is good i'm curious what the cat's saying about all this but yeah all in all i'm really happy this farm is changing into an animal shelter pretty quickly Okay, so let's get them some water and some food and then I'm gonna check, eh, not check, I'm gonna check on the chicken. I don't even know how much eggs she's sitting on, but um, we'll figure that out soon. Okay, I think it's safe to say that Bino's already a big fan of our new family members. He's here to protect them no matter what. I'm at the old coop now and as you can see Eve is still sitting on her nest. But she's too skittish to let me check how many eggs there are. So it's gonna be a surprise I guess. The ducks have survived their first night in the chicken pen and I think they're getting a bit more used to Bino always being around and me being here as well. I filled up the coop with a mix of algae and wood chippings that I also use for my composting toilet and they seem to like it very well. The only thing that is missing now is a little swimming pool for them. Right now I'm just using a big bowl of water. So I'm gonna head to the city and buy some more duck supply. Good morning. 
Yesterday evening I built a duck house from some scrap wood I had left and I already moved them to the new house and their new location. Now I'm gonna put up a little fence just temporarily until they get used to me and all the animals around them. The ultimate goal is to let them roam around freely around the whole property but since they're so skittish I'm gonna do it step by step and give them a little pen now. So this is the new location. I still have to fix the door and I bought them a little swimming pool. So I hope they're gonna love being outside again after two days locked in the chicken coop. They have got used to me already a little bit and they're a bit more calm when I pick them up but I think we're gonna need a couple of more days until I can let them out completely. Now that their fence is up, Pino really wants to go on his morning walk, so I'll just open the door and let them check out their new pen. I only intend to keep this set up for a couple of days and then I'm gonna let them roam around, just for them to know that this is their new home now. Okay. Although I didn't plan on having ducks, I am very happy that I took them in. They are super cute and quite entertaining I must say. One of them is being picked on by the others, probably because of the stress of moving. I spent a lot of time with them and Pino to get them all used to each other and to me. In the next video we will see what Eve has been up to and who knows, maybe we'll have some little chicks soon. <laughs>